Good morning. Yeah. Good morning, everybody. We're at Epcot, as you can see. We're back at the lounge. I'm getting my coffee because I haven't had any for the day. And they have fizzy lemonades, like carbonated lemonade. I usually like mix lemonade and Sprite. It's like my go-to thing. So. And I'm actually using my birthday present from Christina and Graham for the proper way to use it because it's that low-level tripod for the gimbal. This is how it's actually made to be used. It attaches to the gimbal, which we're trying to play with some time-lapse, moving time-lapse functions here because it's just gorgeous. So we're just having some fun. Then we're going to go walk around and uh, we got to see the tent. We're going to try to do the, the Broadway today. Show right for Broadway. We should probably get a wristband. Yeah. Go get a wristband for that for annual pass holders. Um, I think we're just gonna like relax. relax. Do we have any fast passes? We have a uh, one that we're gonna miss. Oh really? Frozen, yeah. Oh okay. Uh, well no no we might. It's a 550 I think. So I don't think the Broadway. I think the Broadway's only 30 minutes. Yeah. And it's frozen. So if it's frozen it's back up because it's down right now. We can probably make it last minute. They'll let us on. Yeah. Anyone is wondering why I don't wear a lot of makeup anymore? It's because my con my eyes constantly water, and it looks crazy. And Peter is nice and tells me when it looks crazy, so I can fix it. What is that noise? Are they practicing fireworks? What's going on? But it's freaking the birds out. And there's literally a murder of crows up there in this palm tree. This is how the paint by numbers looks before it's filled in. It's a fresh canvas. Peter is on the live stream on Instagram right now. Flip it towards us. Say hi to the vlog. Say hi to the vlog. It's 2.30 and they were out of all of the wristbands for the annual pass reserved seating for the Disney on Broadway, except for the eight o'clock show. And we're not gonna be here that late. We're not gonna be here that late. So we're just gonna go get like a, the general area for the 5.30. So that's good if you're an annual pass and you wanna do that, go early. Go early, because they'll go, especially when it gets busier. And it's not even that busy today, so I'm surprised that it ran out. But it's fine, we'll find a spot for the 5.30 and the normal general seating and it'll be great. Right? Yes. We needed a small treat. Yeah. The baguette, that big baguette is two ninety five, right? Yeah. And I believe that this little pastry was two. two yeah. So it's like just over seven dollars. We're gonna go split these on it. Sarah literally just said. I don't want to fall asleep in this France movie, but am I? I know, I probably am. Yeah. So she literally, that's equivalent of Sarah saying, I don't want to fall asleep, but I, I'm gonna. I'm 100%. I'm gonna try. But I'm not gonna be disappointed if I do. I'm gonna try to stay awake. Okay. This is gonna be a Disney World first for us. I'm kind of nervous. But Tyler said it was like one of his favorite things in all of Disney World, yeah. so. Tyler? We trust him. We trust you, but if you're wrong, I'm gonna come find you right now. Okay, did not know how beautiful inside of here was. Look at this. This is from Notre Dame, known as the Spitting Gargoyle. Maybe the most famous resident of the Cathedral of Notre Dame. Why is it here? It's a reproduction. But I had a little one of these in my house growing up. You did. Wow. Are we just going in here? Like, are we just allowed to go? Usually that would be like a dramatic... Come this, this is this, this is the theater I have to go. Wow, it's a big theater. What'd you think, Sarah? I really liked it. I dozed slightly. 
So did you. I kept knocking. I kept. <laughs> We're, yeah, that's like I didn't really miss out on anything. I would just like catch myself. Here's what um, I, here's what I think. Of it. I think it was amazing. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be 360 like the uh, China one. Still beautiful. It's a beautiful country, France. Yeah, it, like beautiful history. What they said was that it's super diverse. And I never knew that all of those different... Like those mountains, you can yeah. scale mountains above the clouds. Yeah. It was beautiful. It was cool. so it check was it out. Such a nice Only music. 18 minutes. Yeah. A little yeah. air conditioning break if you come in the dead of the summer. Yeah. Or really, most times of the year. Right, or you just need a break, maybe a yeah. nap, or something it's, of that it was sort. It's a good spot. Peter's convinced we're gonna make it for the 5.30 show. <laughs> Why would we not? There's I like There's 100 so many people. people. Oh, well, we're excited. Both of our phones just died. I didn't but. bring a watch today, so hopefully time will fly by. Yeah. All right, they bunched us all together. We're definitely making it in there. Do you still not think that we're not going to make it in? No, I believe you. We've been chilling in this like group of people now for like a, almost an hour. Our phones died. We have no watch. I can't see the American. Oh, no, I can't see the American clock. So we're at 4.55. Oh. 35 minutes. Hopefully they let us sit in the next 15 or 20 minutes. Actually, they might be opening up now. You're in severe need of a nap. <laughs> well, we'll watch this and go home. After a cup of battle. After a cup of battle. as Catherine in the original Broadway production of Disney's Newsies. Kevin starred as the title role in Disney's top Tarzan on Broadway. But I have to say my favorite role has been playing Kara's husband in real life. It's true. part of the Disney on Broadway family and are excited to share some of Disney's Broadway hits with you tonight. You'll see my mom's a better part. Someone's gonna make good cross a stupid heart. Make good and finally make you proud of your heart. Disney's 1992 live action film, Newsies. In fact, it only lasted a few weeks in movie theaters. However, thanks to home video and airtime on the Disney Channel, thousands of fans like yourself grew up watching the movie and memorizing this incredible score written by composer Alan Menken and lyricist Jack Feldman, and we were begging to have it on the stage. So Newsies finally landed on Broadway and gave eight-time Oscar winner Alan Menken his first Tony Award and Kara her Broadway debut. Right, what you know, so they say, all I know is I don't know what to write or the right way to write it. This is big lady, don't screw it up. This is not some little law. announcement 
to make. Can I get a drum roll for this one? The next Disney stage sensation to hit Broadway will be Frozen! Some of you are new. Are you excited about this? Are you excited about this? Oh my gosh, me too. It is going to be opening at the St. James Theater in New York City, starting previews February 22nd, and opening officially on March 22nd. Kids will blow down the lion puss, and I'll be doing whatever snow does in summer. I mean, it's crazy. We finish each other's sandwiches. That's what I was going to say. Broadway in Chicago, or Broadway in Chicago, Broadway <laughs> Disney on Broadway was amazing. I had no idea, I had no idea that they were married. They were married. So right now, um, oh this is Fast Pass there. It's been down all day. So I'm curious of like if the Fast Pass line's gonna be long because it just came back up more recently. Let's give it a try. First time in forever. We're gonna we get some Beverly. You know? We went from listening to Frozen Broadway song version into the Frozen ride. We are into, so inspired. We're going to get Elsa's favorite pop, Beverly. Wow. If you didn't know, it's Elsa's favorite. Sticky shoes. And a belly full of Beverly. A, be a Beverly belly belly is what I call it. You're purple. We're heading on out. Gotta go give my dog some kisses. Peter promised we could watch Stacy tonight. And we're watching Harry Potter and editing a podcast and a bunch of other fun Putting stuff. away the Christmas stuff. We are back home. I edited the podcast. It's scheduled uploaded to post at 8 a.m. So check that out. When this vlog goes up, I'm sure the podcast will be live already. Good discussion about fast passes, Disney after hours, how you can buy they're doing that trial at Disney about buying extra fast passes. So well Sarah's asleep, but she's taking just a little rest and we'll see if she wakes back up. It is late and we've been tired all day. But we're gonna try to watch descendants because our neighbors lent lent us it, so we're gonna finally give this a go. I'm gonna watch it, I think, and uh, we'll see if I can get Sarah to wake up. Look how crazy this hair looks. All right, Descendants just end. I thought that was awesome. We'll have to check out Descendants 2, but Sarah slept through the whole thing, which is fine. She does that sometimes. We'll just have to watch it again, but I think Sarah and Eve, Eve's giving me like this exhausted, she looks, she looks like she has bangs underneath her eyes. We're going to Magic Kingdom tomorrow morning. We're gonna try to enjoy the morning there again before uh, it's like the last full park day because we'll get to go maybe to a park on Monday, but we'll, we might have to just come home and get ready for the trip. Packing, cleaning, organizing. So tomorrow might be the last park day before Chicago, but Violet's coming soon. It's gonna be great, it's gonna be beautiful, it's gonna be a miracle. And we have some other things planned because since Eve won't be with us, we will do a couple more things in Chicago that we weren't able to do and show you last time. And there's not like holiday stuff going, so I'm excited to show you some more stuff. Don't know how I'm gonna run in the cold of Chicago, but I'll figure it out. With that, it's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.